Well, speaking of wonderful, we love this lady. This is Sarah Sawyer. She and her husband, her family have a wonderful inn um, right in Door County, Egg Harbor Lodge. The most gorgeous view. Thank you. Um, really is fantastic and been around for decades and decades. Yeah, right? my parents have owned it since 1976, and then we took over from them. So. It's, yeah. it's a really special place. We um, think so, it so. really is. A great pool, great view. They even have a tennis court or two. And then um, the cool thing is, is um, you know, it's great in the summer, but it's wonderful in the fall. Yeah, it's too. great in the fall. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. Really, it's really, really popular nice. then. Sarah is a great cook. She loves to treat her family um, to her meals. And now she's got a new gig working as a food blogger up in Door County. Tell us about right. that. I work for the Door County Visitor Bureau as a social media expert. I write a blog and I do Facebook and Twitter. And so each week I do a different blog on food or wine or food and wine. I did a recent one on El Fresco Dining in Door County. It's so fun. it is fun. It's great. And we get out and go to places that maybe we wouldn't have gone before us too. So yeah, it's been nice. So if it comes to, you're looking for, you know, you're going up to Door County and you're looking for a restaurant, check out Sarah's blog and she'll find exactly what you're looking for because there's yeah. so many different varieties up there. Uh, well, we're, we're, we're making a big batch of whitefish chowder and got to have some whitefish when you go to Door County. And I love, uh, especially when it starts to get a little cool out to go up there for a nice big bowl of white mm -hmm. fish chowder and this is a special recipe again from one of the restaurants up there yeah this is from Harbor Fish Market and Girl and Bailey's Harbor and um, well they're known for their fish and they make a phenomenal fish um, white fish chowder so I got the recipe so and I made it exactly like they make it it's it tastes great it's and really nice it's, it's thick really and easy. it looks amazing mm -hmm. so we're gonna start with some bacon because right. I don't know what chowder good chowder doesn't start mm -hmm. without some bacon and it looks like we cut it into pretty you know pretty yeah. big little chunks right this looks like a thick cut bacon too. Yeah, you can use pretty much whatever you want, but um, like I, you don't have to get it crispy. You just need to get this going and get it all softened up before you start the chowder and um, it'll be good to go. Now when it comes to the whitefish, where do you get the fresh whitefish up there? Well, it's all over in Door County. Um, it comes with skin on it. and. If you take the skin off, the fish kind of fall apart. Okay. Which is fine for a chowder. But usually what I do is it's messy. Sometimes I'll cut it in chunks maybe about this big. Okay. Put it in the hot soup when it first gets going. Take it out, pull the skin off, and go from there. And then just let it chunk up in the soup while, okay. you're, while you're cooking it. All right. It. So yeah. it is a tender fish. It is you once know. you take the skin off. Right. So. So we're going to add um, to our bacon, which mm -hmm. smells amazing. We've got some finely diced onion, and you're dicing up some celery. Right. Get this going in there. There's not a ton of ingredients. No, is, there's not. It's pretty easy, and it's going to make a nice big batch and good stuff. It's really all about the, the fish in this one, huh? Right, it is. And some other flavors, but yeah. It, there's, I'm just going to pop this in there. And goes our huh? celery. Yep. Get that going. Mm -hmm. We need some salt and pepper? Yeah, add some salt and pepper to it, too. Okay. Make a big mess everywhere. Nope, oh, that's fine. It's soup time. Let's chop up this garlic. How it works. So you lived in Door County your whole life, Sarah? Well, I moved up. My parents bought the motel when I was actually a senior in high school in okay. 1976 or 77. And um, we moved up. That, I mean, I, I thought they were crazy at the time. <laughs> I, I honestly did. And um, it ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. So, and then we totally lucked out. I married my husband up there, and we got a children. great business. Four kids. We've got four grandkids. So it's pretty lucky. It's a wonderful place to live. That's for yeah, sure. It is a great place, and the people are are just so nice. I agree. I mean, they are just. I just agree. Great. All right. And you you can't get bored there. If you do, it's your fault. Because right, there's exactly. There's so I mean, much to do, from bike riding through Peninsula Park to taking some hikes to shopping mm -hmm. to restaurants. Yeah, to, there's water everywhere. Yeah, you know, so going to the, the kids. Beach. I mean, yeah. it's like the best thing ever. I mean, growing up, you know, close to water and going right. to the beach all the time. And it's casual too. You don't you know? have to be fancy, which is nice. So, okay, so we've got our onions, our uh, bacon, and our celery going. A little bit of yeah. salt and pepper. So, what's next? Okay, we've got um, a half gallon of heavy cream and then a quart of milk. Okay. And we'll get that started. In this pot over yeah, here? Yeah, so, okay. high. So, so no skipping on the cream. That's really another no, key ingredient. No, so it's kind of a half gallon of cream and a quarter gallon. And we're using our lamer's milk and cream, so about here on this. And we want to get that going. Okay. All righty. 
Do you just kind of want to bring that to a simmer? Is that what we want to yeah. do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you can start up pretty. I will put, I need like three teaspoons. This is clam base. Oh, okay. Need, right? Yeah. And then this is chicken base. Okay. I'm just going to get a little measuring spoon in here. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Yep. Teaspoons, you say? Um, well, actually, it's a tablespoon. Tablespoon? Yeah. You betcha. There, there you go. go. Uh huh. So I'm just going to pop that so, in. So right uh, both of them, basically, chicken base and. Yeah. Right. And about three tablespoons of each, you said? One of that. One of that. Three of the clam. Okay. And you're going to find this in the, um, near the soups and, you know, basically where the bouillon cubes and that whole thing. But these are just so much more flavor. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're great. great. They really are. And they have lobster. They have all kinds yep. of different bases. They've come a long way. Mm -hmm. they, if you make a lot of soups, invest in these. They really pump up the flavor of soups. So we've got that going with the cream and the milk. Mm -hmm. All right, now we've got some pre-cooked potatoes. Yeah, I know, it sounds a little odd, but you pre-cook the um, cubed potatoes and um, we'll throw them in there. And some of them tend to break up, but the little starch helps it thicken a bit mm -hmm. and that. And um, then we'll add our fish to it too. Okay, so should we go ahead, and, is this about done or should we let it cook a little bit um, longer? Actually, it, it is, you just need to be softened. You don't need it to be all, because it, it's gonna cook a good 45 minutes. In the... Yeah. Okay. Right. And then that bacon's going to give it some great flavor. Right. Okay, so in goes our veggies and our mm -hmm. bacon. And then our potatoes. There's that. Alrighty. So this is thyme. Thyme. You can use fresh thyme, too. Those are our potatoes. And then, mm -hmm. does our white fish go in kind of at the end? Or is it going Actually, it doesn't. It okay, goes, because right you want it to, it's going to break up, which okay. makes it taste really good. So you can put that in too. And we'll add some salt and pepper. A lot of pepper. Okay. I like a lot of pepper. I do too. I do too. So in goes our white yeah. fish. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then you can just get that even at the grocery store up there or fish market? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I got mine at the grocery store. Okay. Yeah, and they actually took the skin off for me, but. There you go. <laughs> you must have known I'm somebody. Not, I do because there's <laughs> not their favorite thing to do, I'll tell you that much. So let this simmer for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour, and um, it, it just, well, you can see what happens. It thickens up wow, and really turns into, I, I did add a little bit of um, cornstarch with some water to help it thicken it, so. Depends on how thick you want it or how thick right. it turns out to be. Right, I don't like mine real thick, right. so I'm not, you know, it's up this to is, the individual that. Wow, yeah. look at this, and it smells amazing, makes a nice big batch. Homemade Yum. whitefish chowder. So if you go to Door County and you pick up some whitefish, Take it home. This is one of the things you can do with yeah. it. Wow, that looks amazing, Sarah. Sarah's going to stick around and do another um, Door County inspired recipe. You go to Door County, you got to stop by, is it Fred and Fuzzy's? Yeah, Fred and Fuzzy's. And get a, a straw or a, a cherry, I should say cherry margarita. So right. we're going to show you how to make those mm -hmm. coming up. And also coming up, we're going to take in an authentic Door County fish oil. And you don't have to go to Broadway to see some seriously good Broadway productions. We're going to take you to a place in Door County where you can see some great plays this summer or fall. So stay with us. We'll be back.